Jamie and Vim and, and Herbie are walking away and I got to that area when the Zimpala was still alarming so it looked like some of them were alarming at Hasana but some were also looking in the opposite direction so they're going to go see if they can find Shongile Now well, isn't this wonderful and not very far from where we found Shongile yesterday Hassan is a little bit less relaxed on foot than his sister, but in the vehicle he is very relaxed. Look at him up in the tree. Hello Mr. Moo. What say you? Now, now of course he turns his head the other way. Uh, Diamond would like to know, do leopards live solitary lives or in families? Now the only time you see leopards in groups, Diamond, is generally when a female's got babies, uh, but most of the time they are completely solitary animals. Now, I'm pretty sure little Shongile is not far from here. Oh, he's hot, because it is a very, a very warm. Light is quite difficult at this time of day, especially when looking up into the sky. And the reason leopards like to lie in trees like this is because it's nice and cool. There's a nice breeze, a stronger breeze up there, and less biting hohos. And hohos are insects. One young one on Ingwe on Twin Downs Road, close to the Vuyatela Dam. So I'm just letting the other vehicles know. You can see he's... There we go. Listen, listen, listen. You can hear the Impala alarming, so I think Shungile is very close by. Right, let's just move around, so... See where his beautiful face is. I think he's going to be sleeping in this beautiful ebony tree for quite some time. It is very warm today, 92 Fahrenheit.